In this video, we will be starting the relationship between AC, ABC, AFC and MC in the same diagram. This is your average cost, average variable cost, average fixed cost and your marginal cost. Number one, the relationship we have is your MC curves should be cutting both AC and should cut AC and AVC from its lowest point. This is one thing that you have to make very clear in this diagram that the lowest point of AVC is this, so MC is cutting at its lowest point. The lowest point of AC is this, so MC is cutting AC at its lowest point. So this is the main thing that you have to take care in this diagram that MC should cut AC and ABC at its lowest. So now let's see the relationship. This we have done in our previous video the relationship between AC and MC. AC is declining, AC is reducing. When AC declines your MC declines faster than AC. Your MC is below AC. Your MC is declining faster than AC till then your AC is declining. Right? The second end, when your AC rises, your MC rises faster than AC. See from here your AC started rising. Your MC is rising faster than AC. From here also your AC has started rising. Your MC is rising faster than AC. So when your AC or ABC starts rising, your MC rises faster than AC. MC cuts AC from its lowest. The second point, the third to fourth point is MC must cut AC from its lowest point. So this is again a very important question that you can have in your CBSE board exams. The main thing what uh, the teacher will see, the examiner will see is that have you cut MC from the lowest of AC and ABC. Only this is the thing that you have to keep in mind while making this and you have to make AFC as a rectangular hyperbola we did it in a previous video that why AFC is a rectangular hyperbola so make sure you make the very accurate diagram while saying the while writing the relationship if you have or if you have to make all these in one diagram I hope you have understood this completely Please download our Scholars Learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us. Thank you.